Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you're watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. So if you're new here, what I usually do is I just show you a deck from my personal collection, show you all of the cards, the guidebook, and I talk about the things that I like or don't like about the deck. I do have timestamps on all of those sections down below, so feel free to just click on a part that you're interested in, but I would love if you stayed and watched the, the entire video. So today we'll be taking a look at an indie deck, an indie tarot deck called the Spirit Speak Tarot. This is what the box looks like. Some sample cards. And it was created by Mary Elizabeth Evans. So copyright 2014. So this uh, is from the same creator of the Iris Oracle. And I was so drawn to that deck and I when I purchased it I wanted the the shop was on sale so I also got the the Spirit Speak tarot for so that I have a tarot together with my oracle. So this is so uh, the the guidebook that comes along with it. Um I am not fond of handwritten or cursive writing on tarot books and it's really just because I have bad eyesight and this is difficult for me to read and uh, let me show you I do have a magnifying glass that I use when I have to read with this deck be with this guidebook because I, I otherwise it's really difficult for me to read and uh, I just wanted to show you so you know on the side this is a really cool magnifying glass so you can hold it like a normal magnifying glass but this one also stands uh, so you can use it as a stand and uh, you can use it to magnify certain things so I can also use that for my crystals if I want to take a closer look at the, the, the inside of my crystals and um, I just don't have a battery right now or a, a cable to plug it to but it also has a light so anyway, that's a that's my little tool that I use um, with some of the guidebooks. If it's if it has small text and I like reading guidebooks, so yeah. So as as much as um the the aesthetic or the vibe is matches the deck with this guidebook, it's just difficult for me to read. So basically, it just goes through the meanings of all of the cards. So some are short, uh, some are written in bigger font. So uh, yeah, I can read those, but some, the, like the really worthy ones, see, it becomes smaller, <laughs> like especially. Like, see. So I know that some people won't have an issue with it, but I do. <laughs> uh, so I do have to use my magnifying glass um, to, to work with that guidebook. Oh, before we look at the flip through, this is a smaller, oops, smaller deck. So it's a lot shorter, a little bit narrower than a standard tarot size. It is like a laminated, glossy cardstock. Um, the backs, the backs are not reversible. And yeah, so let's take a closer look at, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit disorganized, but it snaps back really well. So feel sturdy, don't really mind it. And let us zoom in. Well, I already zoomed in, so let's take a closer look at the cards. So it is a black and white deck. It is uh, minimalistic. <clears throat> and it doesn't follow the RWS. So if you're looking for something weird or different or, um, you know, not the uh, typical images that you're used to if you read with RWS a lot, this could be the deck for you. And uh, it's really the same art style as the Iris Oracle, you know, it's like um, like the doodles, I, I don't know how to describe it. But but I also really like that even though it is a monochromatic deck, I, I really like how simple 
it seems you know it's because sometimes sometimes i um sometimes i really look for like this type of deck to clear um when i'm feeling like a little bit cluttered like i do now <laughs> um I, I do tend to gravitate with more simple artwork to uh, when i read because sometimes i just can't take too much so that's why i've also um started appreciating pip decks a lot more so this isn't a pip deck um but yeah it's because um i, I sometimes i need that simplicity to to get a clear reading so the four of cups so this card i, I kind of also read this as um the fourth cup being offered to you isn't good for you and it goes to the the same with the five of cups you know the, the cups that you lost are basically the cups that are not good for you so i i like that uh the way this is represented and uh, and i wouldn't really say that i'm an intuitive reader i do work with guidebooks a lot uh but but this deck because of i think the the imagery and it it makes me think and it makes me see tarot in a different or in a in a more than just typical RWS meanings that I've been memorizing for the past few years. So I like that about this deck. I also like the size because I do kind of like smaller decks. And I think it's really interesting. <laughs> now I wish... Um, I don't know if this would work well as well in color because yeah, I, I think I just like it as it is. And I also have uh, the Apparition Tarot. That one is a colored uh, deck. It's a bigger tarot deck. Um, it's also by Spirit Speak. And the uh, yeah, maybe that's why I'm not really... I don't want to change the Spirit Speak because there's already a, another deck that um, has color if I would be drawn to that or I would want to work with that. But uh, this one is... Uh, I don't use it all the time, but I like using it. Or I, there are specific times that I, I go to it and I like the messages that I get from it. I like the 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 way it triggers my intuition and the way I read I think it improves the way I read actually because I'm not boxed in with just the typical meanings that I know and as a as a as a learner you know as a student of tarot I think that that is a great thing to experience because you don't always um, see that or you don't always feel that with the decks that he use. As always, feel free to slow down, speed up, or pause if you want to take a closer look at the cards. Oh. And the last suit. This five of wands, I kind of read it like it's more of a conflict within yourself. I don't know. It just reads to me that way. Ten. Basically, it, the burden became too great. That's how I read that card. Alright, so I zoomed out. Let's see how this deck shuffles. Shuffles really well. Oops. <laughs> A little difficult to bridge. Uh, 
because it is smaller. Oh. Okay. So let's. It um it is slippery because of the coating. So be mindful of that, especially when we do the overhand. It's slipping even though I'm just riffle shuffling it. But yeah, uh you can refill this, you can brush this. Or I can. Um and it doesn't stick or clump. It's very slippery. Now, with slippery smaller decks, um, there is a tendency to like get them all in the wrong order or direction. Now, I know that those who read reversals wouldn't mind that, but I prefer my cards all upright when I read with them. So it kind of does bother me a little bit when that happens. But yeah, it doesn't stick or clump and we will be reading for the Eight of Swords. Okay, so uh, this is a guidebook entry. It's not focusing. So it's a little short so I can read it. So I can read it without um, my magnifying glass. So it says entrapment. A beauty uh, entrap so the key word is entrapment. A beautiful rose is trapped behind sharp swords. She cannot grow because of this. The stress of this inability to grow takes over your mind. So it's short. You, it leaves you room to build up on that message, which I don't mind. Um, although I like working with guidebooks that really explain everything, there is some charm or there is a, a benefit to also having really short keywords. And uh, so yeah, let's also take a look at another one because it is short, so I don't think it'll take too much time. Okay, so for the Ten of Wands, it says, You have taken on too much. You have to reach out to others to help with your load. And it highlights here, ask for help. So yeah, so um, I like this deck. It's, uh, it's pretty unique. It's uh, something that... Uh, I use when I'm I feel a little bit overwhelmed because I just need like this short simple messages helps me focus or um, not overthink I think it's a <laughs> it's it's funny that I say that it doesn't make me overthink but this deck actually triggers a lot of thinking for me and uh, intuitive hits uh, so I don't know, but it works. It works that way. And that's maybe, that's really why I love tarot because it helps you focus. It helps you, it's like a grounding exercise. It helps you think, it helps you, uh, I don't know. It's just, there's so much I love about tarot. And it's, uh, it really helps. It, it It's helped me a lot. Um, and I, I just can't put it into words how and um, but yeah I think that's why uh, that's really why I have this channel that's why I collect so many decks I really got pulled into this world because it has given me a lot of benefits and and I hope that um, you know if you're also interested in this deck and uh, if you're interested in tarot you would also get the same benefits that I have with with this practice. So yeah, so that has been the flip through of the Spirit Speak Tarot. Um, if I hope you find this video helpful, don't forget to click on the like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. See you again next time. Bye.